we used to come here for our holiday periods in the bay, Red Wharf Bay in, on Anglesey. I just remember my father saying we're going to do something rather different, making a little utility vehicle that will have multi-purpose application. My father actually made a, a drawing in the sand here. He drew it for his brother to show him an idea he had for the Rover Company to produce. That must have been the sort of conception, really, of Land Rover. It was typical of your father to say, I want to tell you, Spen, what I'm thinking about. It would look like this, like this, like this. It was, you know, a very obvious thing to do. I don't suppose he had the idea that it would be so amazingly successful, but was well pleased. I remember going to the production line. They weren't all just banged out the same. It wasn't like that with Land Rover at all. There was about 10,000 different varieties of Land Rover. So we've got a kilometre image to make. We've got six Land Rovers to pull it, and we've got about three hours to do it. OK, so let's get the Harrows on, and uh, off we go. I, I don't think either of them were really very PR people. They were very much sort of... Uh, very pragmatic and sort of uh, very much into the engineering aspects of it, the manufacture. And he didn't think of it being pretty or great advertising campaigns or anything like that. He thought, well, there's a need for it. We won't have to advertise it. They'll just come wanting it. OK, you're clear. You know, being able to bring decent engine power in a mobile way to where you want it to do things was a great idea and you know, there wasn't really anything else doing that at the time, I don't think. I think both the brothers, they both wanted a vehicle that was a sort of go anywhere, do anything vehicle. Something which was more utilitarian, not like a car. I think at that time my father would have drawn in the sand his idea of something that would do that. I think David Bay said you know, I don't want to alter this too much. It's so good as it is. It was summed up by a funny old chap on Isla, who, meeting one for the first time, said, ah, it is the tool for the job. That whatever you're trying to do, you could get help, whether it's, you know, pulling out fallen trees or herding sheep or whatever, using a land rover. You know, it's all come on so much since then. You'll just see what a primitive idea the original one was. It's but they just became part of life. The cars were the cars and the Land Rover was the Land Rover. It's a characteristic, isn't it? You can tell it's a Land Rover when you see it. It is an iconic design, always recognisable at a distance. Mm -hmm.